Hey, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This is Reflex Image. Today we'll be manipulating another picture using the Voto AI. So I've done the pattern of this video, but it seems I actually use a picture that has a floating gun. And we all know that's the easiest picture to actually manipulate in any editing software. But right now we will be manipulating this particular picture using a Voto AI with just few simple clicks. So if you are yet to get able to AI, this is the right time to actually do that. Just like the first picture we did, but this is going to be way easier than that. So, with no further ado, let's jump into action. So, first thing I need to do is to go to my background. Here's the background panel over here. Here's the facial retouching aspect. Here's the color grading panel over here. Why this is the what is the background aspect over here. So, here's my background. Here's the recommended background for me. Probably I want to change this white color to whatever color I want. I just have to click on it and it's going to change that color for me. Here's a gray. Here is a canvas backdrop. These are not very, very nice. But I already have some of my custom made backdrop which I use. So you can do what? If you don't have yours in Evoot, uh, so just click on add. It's going to take you to where your backgrounds are located. All you just need to do is to click a particular one you want and do what? Click on open. And automatically it's going to load up in Evoot for you. Here's the one I actually brought in. But that's not what we're going to be using right now. Let me open the before and after panel. As you can see. So here's the background I'll be using. All I just need to do is to click on it and wait for it to load up. And boom. But right now, it's still not giving me the hyper-realistic vibe I want. And that's the beauty about this. You don't need to be dragging up and down. All you just need to do is to scroll down to where you will see what? Vertical and horizontal. So the first thing I need to do, I want to increase the size of the background. So I'll just come to the size. I'll drag it up. And as you can see, it's actually adjusting real time. So I'll drag it up. I'll drag it up like this. I'm going to increase the size. Next thing I'll do is under the vertical and horizontal, I'm going to drag it to whatever location I want it to be, both vertically and horizontally, as you can see right now. So I'll still do it. I'll still add to the size again till I see fit. I'll add to the size. As you can see right now. So let me see. I'm satisfied with what I have here right now. Next thing I just need to do right now is to do it. Is to come down to what AI retain shadow. And here's the most important aspect, the crucial aspect when it comes to background manipulation, especially if you're a Photoshop user or you are a manipulator in general. So with this right now, you're able to do what? Just click on it and wait for it to load up. And automatically, it's going to bring the footer shadow back for you. So you can add what? Decide the intensity of how you want it to show. You can reduce the opacity and you can bring it up. That's where the amount comes in. Very, very simple and straightforward. With just like three or four clicks right now, we're able to change our background from this to this. Very, very easy. Anybody can do this. So, a Voto AI is here to do it, to make our work more easier, especially manipulator. With manipulators like this, you'll be able to achieve this in split seconds. And it's very, very affordable and it's time saving. If you have to do this in Photoshop, you have to do it. Do the background removal process, do the background cleaning before you'll be able to achieve this. You still have to extract the shadow and bring it back yourself manually. So, with this, this costs. It is going to cost time you spend editing. And the beauty about this is that if I have about six or seven pictures like this, I can do what? I can just copy and paste. So I have a, a similar picture here. So should we do that and see if it's going to work out to our own benefit? So let's do what? Ctrl C on this right now and do what? I think I only work with background. So I can just turn this off right now and do what? And click on save. I'll go to the next picture, which is this, and I'm going to do a control view on it. Just have to sit back and wait for it to load up. Though it's not going to give me what I want 100%, but this is actually what this is actually great. I just did this edition and it actually applied on this picture for me with just a single click. So countless hours of retouching, countless hours of manipulation has been cut to split seconds, and it's only going to get better from here on. So if you're here to purchase, can you use the link down in the video description to get 15% discount on whatever package you buy. Trust me, it's going to worth the while, it's going to worth the credit, it's going to worth the money spent. So all you just need to do right now is to head over to their site using the link down in my video description, make purchase today and start enjoying Evo 2 AI in just split seconds. I hope this video helped. If it does, don't forget to drop a like. Someone out there might be in need of this video. See you guys in my next video tutorial. Reflex out.